Hey guys, what's up? It's Sunday again, and I'm going to fill you in with what happened this week. So I guess I want to start this video on more of a fun note, something about iOS 7's uh, big concept that's been in the news in the last few weeks. Now, since Johnny Ive has taken um, a bigger role in the development of uh, iOS 7, in, including the design, a lot of uh, rumors of what the next iOS will look like have been popping up. So I'll just be playing a portion of that now. To uh, get the full video, click the link in the description. So the next story I want to talk about is sort of only exclusive to people that have the iPhone 5 on T-Mobile, which is uh, very new. Anyways, T-Mobile uh, pushed out an upgrade to make their connections better, but a group of hackers have changed that and been able to boost uh, the download speeds on iPhone 5s on T-Mobile uh, quite a bit. If you have one, then I recommend you check out the article below. Now, over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of news on uh, the new iPhone having a fingerprint scanner or reader. It's been uh, pretty much reported on every single uh, popular blog. Even this week, uh, PayPal uh, left some comments on this. Now, a lot of people say uh, that it will it will revolutionize the password. I don't know uh, how easy or uh, how good Apple could pull this off and how successful it would actually be. But it's a very cool um, idea to think about. It's a very uh, catchy feature that they could put into their new phone to make it stand out from the uh, previous phone, especially if they're going at a more of an iPhone 5S approach where there's not going to be uh, very much change within uh, the two devices. Now, earlier this week, a lot of people have been reporting uh, data showing that uh, people have been using iOS 7 on their servers, uh, specifically on the article that I wrote about. It was a company that essentially uh, helps design websites for HTML5 and for mobile users. So they, uh, they took a bunch of the people they've been working with, and they've seen a lot of statistics showing uh, iOS 7 usage coming from Cupertino, which is where Apple is based from, uh, and along from uh, along with San Francisco, where a lot of its employees work. So uh, this uh, could be a good indicator that uh, iOS 7 is being tested heavily right now. Yet, uh, then again, it's very easy to spoof your IDs. If someone wanted to mess with people, they could easily pretend that they had an iOS 7 device and uh, go onto people's websites. But this has been a trend that we've seen in the past a lot, and it's been pretty reliable uh, that it happens right before a new iOS releases. And uh, combined with the fact that Apple sent out its WWDC invitation or tickets uh, a few weeks ago, we know that it is being in the work, in fact, and it should be coming soon. Next thing I want to talk about is a little more about uh, the Google Glass. Now, I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, but uh, Sorik, the developer of Cydia, actually uh, jailbroke or rooted his pair of Google Glasses that he got, and he found that it was uh, very easy to hack. And that's pretty much all for the news aspect. I know it's been a pretty slow news week this week, but I want to uh, leave this video with a few more updates uh, talking in front of my phone. So in this portion of the video, I want to talk a little about Free My Apps. I made a video a little while back showing off this website and how you can use it uh, to earn paid apps for free. Now. Uh, because of Apple's UD ID change, you're going to have to upgrade to iOS 6. So now, uh, Free My Apps is only going to be working for iPhones and iPods on iOS 6. So make sure that uh, you got in on that upgrade for whatever device you're using. And if you're not, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure most of the applications and offers will not work. Anyways, if you haven't heard of uh, Free Maps, because I know a lot of our viewers are new or could have missed that previous video, essentially it's a website that you can use to download paid applications for free using uh, subsidies or 
um, other application sponsors to help you out. So, so to start out, you're going to need to go to bit.ly slash getfreeappsios. Just make sure you enter in it exactly like that, and it will lead you to the free maps front page um, as a referral. So what you're going to do next is uh, check out all the offers. If, for say, you want uh, my map run, all you got to do is click OK, and then all that's needed is to download the app. Once you download and open the application, you should have extra credits in your account. Now, once you have credits inside of your account, you can go to the gifts tab on the top and then select whatever gift you want. For example, a $25 iTunes gift card. Now, I have a lot of built up credits so I can afford this and claim this code. Again, if you're new, check out the link that's on the screen now to join uh, Free My Apps. It's definitely a great service that's helped me and many of our fans in the past. That's pretty much it for this episode a weekly recap. If you want a chance to win an iPod Touch 5th generation, just hit the like button, leave a comment, and a lucky winner will be picked soon.